I'm really excited because I'm going to try and bake some bread. Um, one of the big drawbacks that I found in moving to this smaller boat is that I haven't been able to make bread. On my previous boat I had a um, Contessa 32 and she had an oven. So I always made bread as I went along and um, to me it seems like one of those things for self-reliance. It's something you need when you're um, at sea. So today I've got, oh yeah, let me show you the, um, the kit. I bought this little oven from Sweden. I have, they haven't given this to me, they're not paying me. I don't know if it works, but uh, here we are. It has a base and a middle part, a little grill and a top. So <clears throat> I should be attempting to cook some bread using this stove top oven. These are handy, aren't they? Useful stowaway bowl. Right. I'm a brown bread person, I'm afraid. So we start off with a bit of uh, flour. God, it can open very easily. <laughs> Dear. No measuring instruments, I'm just going to make a bit of bread. So, what should we do? I think that's probably going to be enough for the moment. Now, next thing is yeast. Here we are. Oh, well, and importantly, we shall need some more water. Um, morning tip. Just boil or heat as much water as you're going to use on a boat when you've got limited fuel, limited cooking. Don't waste the heat. So I'm sure about a cup of water is going to be more than enough for this. So um, I'll just warm up one cup of water. While we get the yeast in here. Usual washing up techniques. A little bit of oil, not too much. That's probably about right. You can add a bit of salt if you like. I don't usually put sugar in. No, we just want this to be warm. It's not quite there yet. Okay, here we are. That sounds well warm enough to me. <clears throat> How warm is it? Ah, it's too hot, too warm. The water's too hot, you kill the yeast and then you wait a long time for it to rise, which it doesn't do. That'll just about do it, I think. I know some of you would probably be using a spoon. But I'm not using a spoon today. Getting hands on here. Add water until we got a dough. I'm going to make it too sloppy because uh, I don't have a bread tin so these I'm going to make a couple of rolls I think which are going to have to be self-supporting and stand on the the tray. So we'll keep the dough mix reasonably firm. Now this is a very small bowl to be making bread in isn't it? Perhaps next time I'll use something a bit bigger.
All right, now we're getting something that looks a bit like a piece of dough here. The secret with bread making is not to be in too much of a hurry. It's most important to uh, knead it until the gluten starts to distribute and that gives the bread a nice springy feel and means the yeast can then work and create air bubbles which don't dispel. Ooh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Never mind. Mm. Today I'm in the uh, on my mooring in Cardiff Bay, so it's relatively calm. The only time things go up and down is when one of the ferries comes roaring past. And uh, today they're so far not too busy. It's quite early, I suppose, for them. <laughs> yes. That's definitely beginning to look like a dough. Rid of this excess stuff on my hand. Do you know what? Making bread is a fantastic way of getting your hands really clean. Now I, I always need bread for five, ten minutes actually because that way I know that it's all the gluten's well distributed. I think now it's in a piece, I'm gonna knead it on the board here. So I'm gonna do this for 10 minutes. So if you wanna, wanna go away for a bit and come back. <coughs> and then we'll see. The thing with bread is you can't be in a hurry. Well, you could make a flatbread. Maybe I'll show you how to make a uh, quick chapati in another video. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff in the comments. And if you'd like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that because it encourages one to, uh, to do more. I always think that when you're on a long passage, it's really nice to have some fresh food and there's nothing better than the smell of bread baking to lift the spirits and, and cheer you up. I know most boats of any size bigger than this 26 foot Contessa will have probably an oven, but this boat doesn't have an oven and as someone who loves their bread and their baked potatoes. I need to sort that problem out. There obviously isn't room to install a, an oven style cooker in this little galley. So this bread is beginning to, this dough, is beginning to show signs of, of being a potential for making bread. It's maybe just a little dry, let's put a tiny bit more water with it. Can add water as you go along until you get the consistency that you want and uh, what I'm looking for really is is a dough that's firm and which doesn't really split too much when you when you squeeze it down so you see how it's beginning to uh, it's beginning to show some sign of being, of the gluten coming out. And it's beginning to feel nice and smooth and, yeah, it's squishing out nicely. I think this is nearly ready. So you just fold, push, fold and push. 
you'll get to know when you've done this a bit by the feel when it's right. Very difficult to, to overdo the kneading process. There we go, you can see how it's not really, and when I fold it and press it, it's not really breaking up. It's getting to look nice and elastic, which is exactly what we want. A nice even dough. Right, I think we're there. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks as if it's ready. This donut shaped oven means you're not going to have a regular, normal looking bread. So I think what we're doing here is we're going to make, what's two, maybe three rolls. So we're hoping this is obviously going to rise a fair bit before it's cooked. So let's divide that into three. Okay. Hmm. Almost too big again, isn't it? Already. Because today in Cardiff Bay, it's a beautiful sunny morning. I shall put this lot out in the sun now to rise. There we go, that's prior to rising. Bread sausages. Here we are, we're outside in lovely Cardiff Bay on a early August morning. It's the first time we've had sunshine for about, I don't know, a month it seems. And here's the bread. I've put it to rise and uh, gonna give it, I don't know, probably take 20 minutes. It looks as if it's already beginning to rise a little bit now, doesn't it? Mm. Now the traditional thing is to cover this up with a, uh, cover this up with a cloth, so I'll do that. Proper lifeboats tea cloth. Okay, so we'll leave that to, uh, to rise for, I don't know, for a little while. Come and have a look at it and That's very good sort it out. These are now ready. So I think, uh, let's go on inside with them and pop them on there. Aha, this is very exciting, isn't it? So let's light up and see what happens. The instructions for this say don't use too much flame, so I won't. So that is now, the bread is risen, the oven is on. We shall leave it to do its thing and keep an eye on it as we go. Right. Sneak the little lid off and have a butcher's. Oh, I say this is, it's happening. And I've got this on a very, very low heat. Almost, almost as low as it'll, as it'll go without turning off. So it looks like this could be fairly economical. Great, Whew, it's warm in here. <laughs> We'll let it carry on a bit longer till it browns up. Time to have another look at the cooking. Ooh. Wow, that's hot. Do you know what? I think we've got, we've got bread. Ah. Yeah, 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 that is really hot. <laughs> what I need is something like Oh, I don't know, cloth, that'll do. There we go. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty certain this is done. I'm gonna turn the gas off. It looks actually 
Don't you think that looks like we've made bread? <laughs> I'm chuffed with this. Using the official RNLI. Uh, cloth. I shall take it out here. I just let it cool a little bit. And uh, once it has, we'll have a go at getting it off the shelf. Maybe next time I need to just put a bit of oil on the shelf. As I say, this is my first attempt at bread on here, in here. And I think I'll be doing this again. Yeah. Okay, this is now cooled down enough to touch. Which is good, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Right, look at that, I've made some rolls. Um, trouble is they've uh, kind of sunk into here. I think next time I'm gonna to have to put a, some kind of a, a tray or a sheet down underneath, aren't I? So um, how am I gonna get these off? I'm just gonna to have to be slightly awkward, aren't I? Can you see? Let's move you a bit so you can see my inept struggling. that that's actually all right isn't it stovetop oven you can stay you can stay that's slightly blackened where it touched the side so I just need to make them a little bit more curved or something so they don't quite touch that but that's all right so here comes the moment of truth we're going to open this up oh yeah look at that <laughs> The only thing I can do now is to try it, isn't it? Here we go, I'm actually going. My first homemade bread on this boat. That is absolutely perfectly fine. It's great. That is a lovely whole meal roll made quite quickly very simply took less than an hour altogether including the rising time and the kneading time and that is well worth doing mm. bread on a boat mm -hmm. cheers there's one thing i just have to say about these bread rolls is they are extremely addictive. Mm. This is the sort of thing you might have to make every day. 